talk to us about the breakdowns or the stuff that's coming out right now. Yes. Being what is one thread that you can that that you've noticed? Oh, definitely um, COVID safe bubbles. So um, you know, previously if we were casting a family, they could cast you know individuals from yeah. different families, right? And now they want like we're working on one that has a mom and a dad and five kids and they wanted a mom and a dad and five kids oh. and most people don't have five kids anymore so if they have two or three kids then to bring cousins um because of the regulations and you know we're adhering to sort of high standards on set they oh. want people that have uh you know that have quarantined together and or are in their own small bubbles so that's really changed and so I'm seeing actors book, for instance, um, that have a partner who's an actor. So like couples are booking, okay. right? And so my individuals that previously would do very well, um, they're having a hard time because they're not in that bubble. Because on set, the individuals would have to be six feet apart. And we all know what it's like to tell a story in a frame six feet apart. At that point, that's deep background and foreground. But to get them side by side, they have to adhere to you know that the safety element so, so essentially the people that are getting called in or um booking are the people that have real quote-unquote real families that they've quarantined with yes well in in the grouping format you know okay. i still have individuals booking right? If it's just a commercial featuring them um, and maybe they're just editing, editing together like vignettes, perhaps yeah. then that works. But uh, in terms of uh, groups and because I think right now we are trying to sort of show like unity through community and all that kind of stuff that yeah. you, you need multiples in a scene yeah. to create that, um, you know, the essence of what it is to, to be in a, in a family or a couple. It's kind of like how we're getting through this, um, our own individual pods, how we're getting through it. So they, they literally need real pods that are safe and on top of it can act. So that's changed the playing field for my actors a lot. Like, you know, some of my top actors don't have a partner, right? They don't have a COVID safe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, it's frustrating, uh, yeah. for them, but it's, you know, like everything, it's giving opportunity now to people who previously didn't have it perhaps because they now have the asset of, of safety. Right. And it's all about like what assets you have period. Right. And if are you able to provide what they need, right. Yeah. Um, are your auditions also being self tape or are they going into rooms? Uh, I'd say two thirds are self taped, okay. which are um, becoming trying for a lot of my talent. It's interesting. Previously, you know, it was it was trying to make four auditions in a day and have a session backed up for an hour, or to miss an audition and all the energy of that. But now it's the energy of you know two self tapes in an evening and not getting any feedback or interaction and just sort of like you know blindly sending it into the ether and then not hearing back. So yeah. it's, uh, I, you know, I feel talent are, they're kind of. Are they calling more people in because of self tapes or you think it's the same amount of, like have oh, you good question? Yeah, uh, self tapes, I'd say they'd still call in, you know, the strongest. It's okay. right now it's a game of the strongest will survive or the COVID bubbles are taking priority, right? So, and the other thing is if you have less people on set and even less crew, you know, previously how you might have like, you know, three ADs and one is catering to talent. Now you just might have one on set. So uh, the other trend I'm seeing is people who had previous um, booking trust or have carried a spot, they're prioritizing them. Okay. Right? Because they can handle themselves on set, right? They know what they're doing. They know about the blocking. They don't basically, you know, previously there was a whole crew that could almost like support and you know, nurture this person's experience on set. Now, you know, sometimes they, they don't even do their own makeup. Like on the smaller sh uh, sets, I've been, I had a print shoot recently, they had to do all their own makeup wow. because of COVID safety. So yeah, we're taking it very seriously here.